Pablo, I've fallen and I can't get up. Pablo, I've fallen and I can't get up. Bring me my shoes. Good boy. Good boy. Pablo, where's my other shoe? Where's my other shoe? Bring it. Come here, Bobby. Up. 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 Good boy. Thank you, buddy. I got my shoes now. Thank you. Done. You want to go potty? You want to go outside? Okay. Okay, good boy. So we're going into town today. I have a bunch of stuff that I need to get done. But one of the downsides of living this way is anytime you have to go somewhere, yeah, you gotta put everything away so nothing flies off the counter. This is me getting ready to go into town. I think today is day seven. It's been a week since I've been trying to befriend these guys. And today was the first time that I saw them eating from the food supply that I have for them down on the ground. I have some water, I put out some water, uh, some, some peanuts, and some mystery meat. I'm gonna feed these guys. These guys kind of recognize me a little bit, I think. These guys are easy. These are crows. I want to feed the ravens.
Now we gotta go grocery shopping. All right, well, I'm just getting back from Vaughn's. I just spent 50 bucks at Vaughn's and I still gotta go to Walmart. I bought a bunch of stuff that, you know, I wanna be stocked up for a, a couple of weeks. So, you know, 50 bucks, I know, that's not a lot of money, especially these days. I bought this ground beef, six patties, six patties. See that? Six patties. Why can't I get a package of buns that are six? Why does it have to be eight? Now I got two extra buns. What am I supposed to do with two extra buns? I can, I can, I can see two extra patties. But what the hell am I gonna do with two extra buns? I do this on purpose. I know. That is a very good point. What is that all about? Am I getting charged extra? Am I getting charged for two buns that I don't even want? Can I opt out? <sighs> Let's get back to the video. That are six. Why does it have to be eight? Now I got two extra buns. What am I supposed to do with two extra buns? I can, I can, I can see two extra patties, but what the hell am I gonna do with two extra buns? I, they do this on purpose. I know they do this on purpose. To, to what? Sell more meat? Or, I mean, I don't, I don't get it. What, they need to get their acts together. All right, so I had to park in a different spot than normal. I think the person that took my normal parking spot did it on purpose. Anyway, I'm not feeling good about this shopping experience, but onward bound. So here at Walmart, they have the 12 patties. Eight buns. What the heck? No propane. We're back. So we spent, and I got a bunch of, I, I got a bunch of junk. I spent a total of, at Walmart, I spent $86. Let's just go ahead and round it off to 87. $87, and then earlier I spent 50. So what is that, 137, 137, let's just go ahead and 140 bucks. Let's just do 140 bucks. All these groceries that I just got, all these supplies, it'll last me easily 10 days. So 140 divided by 10, 14. So I'll be feeding myself and Pablo for $14 a day. That's not bad, is it? Pablo, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, $14 a day, that's not bad. And we got a lot of stuff. We got snacks. We got snacks, we got burgers, we got Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. We got juice. We got water. We got coffee, creamer. We even got dishwashing soap. Even though 
rarely do we wash our dishes with soap. But you know, dishwashing soap comes in handy for other things like washing your truck. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? What do you got? You got your bone? Okay, good boy, get your bone. That's good. That's okay. We got paper towels. We got paper towels out the wazoo now. We got chicken, we got tortillas, we're gonna be doing some fajitas, eating some burgers, eating tacos, having salads, pasta. Yeah, we got plenty of food. So for four, for 10 days, it's probably gonna last longer than 10 days, to be honest, but that's pretty good. $14 a day and that's three meals a day <laughs> sometimes more because you know let me get this out of the way so let me straighten this up here a little bit because it got a it's it man it's a big mess up here right now because you know when you're traveling in a step van let me tell you this isn't a smooth ride on the freeway it's a smooth ride but coming down that, that road that we live in, forget about it, man. Forget about it. So we got, yeah, we got a lot of moving around to do, you know, a lot of rearranging. You know, normally I take these out of the package. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take, I'm going to take them out the package. Even though I was having second thoughts whoops so we got plenty of room up here see that's what main, mainly the reason i built this this shelf up here was for like like paper towels and like really light bulky stuff look at that i got so much room it's not, it's not even funny see what i mean i could put these up here like these uh clorox wipes they're not heavy i could put them up here and this thing, I got, you know what? I haven't used this thing in forever, ever, ever. I'm so tempted to throw it away. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw it away. I'm gonna throw it away. So tempted. It's just, I haven't used it in at least a year. You know what I mean? If you don't use something in at least a year, and you're in a small space like me, hey, get rid of that thing. Throw it away. You don't need it, obviously. All right, so we're gonna finish putting all this stuff away and then we're gonna head get some propane. So we'll be right back. All right, we're still here at Wally World, but I wanted to show my shelf up here how stocked up it is and how much room i still i got so much room still i'm stocked up for like a solid two weeks 10 days two weeks i still got so much room up here okay i could reorganize and and, and and put more stuff up there i just wanted to show that and the heaviest thing up here is probably this that's probably the heaviest item up there Maybe the coffee. Um, yeah, the can that can of soup over there is even heavier than my binoculars. But what I wanted to show, oh, let me show my fridge. Let me let me show my look. My fridge is topped off to the gills. I'm gonna have to reorganize. I'll reorganize later tonight. This is just to keep everything cool for now. When I get back to the ranch, I'll reorganize. But what I wanted to show is this. Everything on here is trash. Okay. I removed all the items like the cookies and the cereal. Bada bing, bada boom. I removed it out of the box and uh, st stocked it up there. But this is all the stuff. This is all just trash. Okay. Now, I could take it home with me, right? But if I'm going to be, you know, living off grid, which is kind of like what I'm doing, 
for the next 10 to 14 days, trash accumulates. And so the least amount of trash that I have to start out with, the more better, the better, right? So all this stuff, this is all trash. Look, this is all trash. This is just, just you know, the boxes that stuff comes in. I'm going to throw it away right now before I go up to the ranch. It might not seem like a big deal, but it, you know, trash adds up, especially after, you know, 14 days. So, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. We're on our way to get some, um, what are we going to go get? Oh, some fuel. They didn't, they didn't have any uh, propane, so we're going to go fill up our propane bottle. They didn't have a, any of the, the little propane bottles at the Walmart. So, yeah, we're going to have to do something about that. Anyway, we're on our way. Pick up some propane. Hey, Pablo, say hello. Are you a good boy? Say hello. Come here. Touch. Touch. Good boy. Cars as far as the eye can see. I don't know what happened to my little town, but not cool. Looks like gas prices are going down. All right, we got that thing filled up. A little over four gallons is what we needed, or is what it took. Right around 16 bucks. That'll last us easily two weeks. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. So we're back. We're gonna straighten up this mess. Put some things out, pull some things out, get back in uh, parked mode, because we're going to be here for a while. We're going to be here at least till, till next week. I mean, we got a couple of things to do. We got to go into town, but that's not going to be time consuming. So, yeah, we're going to clean up and. Uh, enjoy life this is what it's all about just relaxing when you live a minimalist lifestyle there's really not a lot of things to do you know you just chill out just relax enjoy your freedom enjoy not having to participate in the hustle and bustle you know what i mean yeah, we're just going to relax. As soon as we get everything put away, maybe make lunch. That's about it, bro. All right. I'll be back.
All right, so we're back in business. We're back in... We're going to be parked for a while mode. Got everything hooked up again. Bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Still have a couple other things that I need to hook up. Usually it takes me about 30 minutes to get everything back out and connected and displayed or whatever. I still have a couple other things I need to pull out, but this is pretty much good for now. And um, as time goes by, I'm sure I'll be pulling out more stuff and getting more comfortable. And why are you making so much noise, bro? What's what's your deal? Sit. Sit. There's your food right there, bro. You want some? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Right here. All right. Let me put some water out for this guy. And um, I'm th thinking about what I'm going to make to eat. I've been snacking on some crackers in the meantime. So, yeah. Looks like we're going to be getting some rain. I'm charging my lights. Charging my lights. So when it gets dark later on, I'll have, I don't have to use my, um, my house battery. I'll just use those LED lights. But it looks like we're going to be getting some rain. You see? There's rain in them there clouds. Yep, we're going to be getting some rain. And it's been a little cold the last couple of days. After some really nice warm weather, now we're going to be hitting a little cold spell for three or four days, but it's all good. We're all stocked up. Look at the beautiful clouds out there. Is that nice? Alrighty. In a couple of hours, the crows will be showing up for the evening. They always they, they come by in the morning, and then they come by in the evening. Thanks for spending the day with us.